When creating a fill for ArchiCAD, a good idea is to first mark an area using some lines so that you can easily see how often the pattern will repeat. I'm going to use a polyline, the rectangle option, and I'm just going to draw a 1 meter by 1 meter square. This way, when I draw my fill inside here and delete it, I can get a good idea for how often it will repeat. The next step is to draw all of the elements of your fill using lines. I'm going to use a polyline tool and then explode it later. In this case, I'm going to draw a fill that indicates water. A good idea is to draw this at a scale that is similar that you would like to see at the end at the end result. And once I've done, I'm going to repeat this set of lines multiple times. So to do that, I'm going to use drag and push the Alt and Control keys at the same time. And this is multiple copies. Notice the double pluses at the end of the cursor. I'm going to try and give it a bit of randomness. Once you're done, press Escape. Before I paste this and copy and paste it into my fill type, I'm going to just mark it with some hot spots. The hot spots will be used by the fill as the boundary for the repeating pattern. Next, we're going to select all the elements together and explode them. Click on Edit, Reshape, and choose Explode into Current View. Tell it to keep the drawing primitives only and then press OK. At this point when we select it, you'll notice that all the elements have different colored circles for the different groups. Now we select everything, go to Edit and press Copy. Now we're going to copy this into our Fills area, so which is Options, Fill Types, Click on New. I'm going to create a symbol fill and call it Water. Press OK. The next step is to click on the Paste button. So we simply press that button and all the elements now are transferred to this window here. Notice immediately the sizing has been filled out. This is adjustable of course but it will actually use the same area as you drew on your floor plan. An important thing to look at is the bitmap area. This is a pattern that will be used if you choose a bitmap option in ArchiCAD to display your fill. By simply clicking inside it, it will change the way it looks. If you click on a white pixel, it changes to black. If you click on a black pixel, it will change to white. You can actually draw with your mouse and you try and sketch the type of fill that you've created in the vectorial view up here into the bitmap view. So it's approximately the same. Next, we can choose this fill with drafting fills, cover fills or cut fills. If I untick any of these options, the fill will become unavailable for that type of fill. Next we can scale it with a plan or scale independently. If we choose scale independent, it will remain the original size at all times and will always print it the same size. If you click on scale with plan, the fill will scale in proportion to the scale you select for your floor pan. You can also adjust the angle. These two magnifying buttons don't actually affect the way that your fill actually prints out but do affect the way that you see the preview in the window above. If I click OK, and now our fill has been saved. If I go to the Fill tool now, and select it, if I go into the Settings and choose Water, click on OK, 
And if I draw using that fill, you'll see we've created this water fill.